2020 is almost completely behind us, thankfully, and 2021 is just around the corner to help you to commit to a path of deeper self-work and to help you to have a look at the year ahead, the 2021 year ahead consultations and my three 90 minute consultation packages are on special offer for the holidays. If you'd like more information on that or simply if you'd like to schedule, you can do so through the link that you'll see above. So there's an opportunity that you are being faced with at the present moment. And this opportunity is giving you a golden chance to really create some very important and very positive change going forward. And it's not a perfect solution by any means. Uh, granted that, it's going to take a little bit of reworking on your part, but as you're taking a deeper look at what's on offer to you, and especially since you've been dealing with something for a really long time that you don't really want to be dealing with anymore, you're becoming enthusiastic about something that's in front of you. So now you're beginning to kind of take a deeper look at the situation. But is that really a wise idea? Well, you know, of course it is. You need to know what you're getting into. You need to know like the ins and outs of the situation, but there's one little minute problem. The more you go in, the more you're beginning to think about being out. Now, does that mean that this is a bad idea and you should just scrap it completely altogether and go, no, nope, no way, not going to do that. Let's just stick with the status quo that I've been sticking with for you know so long because, hey, it's better the devil that you know than the devil that you don't know. And I've become comfortable in my comfort zone of not being happy and being completely uncomfortable and dealing with too much BS and, you know, so, hey, I think I'll just go on shoveling the stuff and like tumping it over my shoulder and things like that because, hey, I'm just used to that now. But you don't really want to do that either, do you? Well, of course you don't. So the problem is that sometimes you can analyze a situation looking for all the things that are wrong with it. And if you look deeply enough, you're going to find imperfection, even with something that's almost completely perfect. Now, if you remember, I told you, by no means is this situation completely perfect, but it is something that will get the job done, or at least a very large portion of the job done for you, if you're willing to commit to what it requires of you. But as you take a deeper look at this situation, something about it just feels to you like, well, hmm, I really wouldn't be coming from my heart in this situation. Maybe part of me thinks that if I went down this path, I'd just kind of be faking it. It doesn't really feel uh, authentic to me. And so, you know, with that being the case, oh, maybe I'll just continue with my life of uh, leisure with displeasure uh, and not really take action. But could it be that you've become so accustomed to something not being good that you're resistant to an actual opportunity at change that is in front of you? Could it be that you're seeing that you're not motivated to do something because you think that you'd be, well, you know, coming from a space of not being authentic, when in reality, if you look at the situation, there is something that really needs to be dealt with, and that's authentic, and there's something that you would authentically really like to change in your life, and that motive is pure. And everything that's surrounding that motive uh, in the particular situation that you're dealing with in whatever area of your life this may uh, relate to, everything around that is pure and simple and right and correct. So 
what may be happening at this particular moment in time is that you've gotten so far in to something that's unacceptable that your um, sense of authenticity, your sense of what's real, and your sense of what's right, and your sense of what is correct has been altered, distorted, sent so far askew that you've forgotten at the root of it your real motive. Your real motive is to create positive, real, and lasting change. And lasting change that's not going to be beneficial just for yourself, but also for those who are surrounding you. So why go in and look for the minute details of a situation of how you would be going against something that you've newly uh, kind of decided that you're against, but you're perhaps not really completely against. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I'm the guy who's always here telling you every time I do these videos that really in life, you have to follow your heart. Because at the end of your life, if you're not going through and looking at your uh, life that has come before and able to make the judgment that, hey, in all those decisions, I really acted from my heart, then you're going to be living a life that's really not full. So I'm always here every week to tell you to go with your heart. But you see, what's happening in this situation is you've gotten into a position where your mind has convinced your heart of one set of circumstances that you don't really believe in because you've been having to deal with a certain set of circumstances for so long that you don't really believe in it, that you're beginning to kind of see it as the norm. You're beginning to see it as the uh, foundation of the way things need to be going forward. And you've begun to see it as something that needs to happen to the extent that you're convincing yourself of something ultimately that you don't really believe in in the first place. And I'm the one who's here right now to tell you at this particular moment in time, <coughs> wake up, just wake up. The opportunity is right in front of you at the present moment. You don't want to stare a gift horse in the mouth for too long, right? Let's talk about that concept, right? It used to be that when a horse was given as a gift to another person, you'd want to examine its teeth to see if there were anything wrong with its teeth. So if you looked long enough at those teeth of that horse, well, you'd probably get bitten, to be quite honest, right? But you know, another thing that would happen is you'd probably find problems. And so that's where the old saying, don't look a gift horse in the mouth for too long comes from. And you're dealing with the situation right now where if you stare a gift horse in the mouth for too long, you're going to find all sorts of reasons why you shouldn't do what your heart is really into. So don't second guess yourself. I know we took a long way around to get to this particular scenario. Don't second guess yourself in that sense of enthusiasm that ultimately you are really feeling right now. Don't second guess yourself in terms of feeling passionate about having an opportunity to actually make a change that you've wanted to make for a really long period of time. The choice is yours right now. You can go, I'm not going to do that. And instead, I'm going to be passionately upset about how my life isn't going the way that I want it to go. Or you're going to passionately do something about it in this particular moment in time. The options are on the table. The offer is open to you. Why not take it? And if you'd like a little bit of help learning how to work with what is now opening up to you, I'd like to help you in that endeavor. And as I mentioned before, generally I always have a, a consultation or two on special offer each week. And I definitely do so now. If you'd like to schedule in with me, you can do that through the Astrological Services page of my website, which you will find linked above. That's going to do it for this look at the full moon in Ardra Nakshatra, which takes place from the 29th 
to the 30th of December, 2020. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.